Hi darlings, welcome back to my makeup garden. It's Liz, I promise, I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I have a corneal tear on my right eye. So for my unboxing today, cause I have an ice cream beauty box that's been sitting on my desk and I want to get it off my desk and put things away and kind of look at stuff cause I still don't know what's in here. So for today's unboxing, I'm gonna leave my sunglasses on. Um, I'm not gonna be applying everything like I normally do, unless maybe it's a lip product or something, but uh, I'm sensitive to light and my you don't wanna look at my eye. Um, but I figured this has been sitting here long enough. I feel good, so I'm gonna just unbox this and try like and play with the things that I can. And we're just gonna go from there. So I know you're like, what the hell are you doing, Liz? But it's just sitting here. I'm gonna open it anyway. I might as well throw some sunglasses on and do it with you guys. So Ice Cream Beauty Box is, I'm not sponsored. Ice Cream Beauty Box is a $25 subscription service. It's generally indie brands and like other brands that I haven't heard of. Sometimes it's Sea Beauty. Um, but a lot of times it's just like indie brands that I actually have used before or tried or, you know, that kind of thing. So it's worth it to me, but I'm curious. It's always an interesting mix of product. There is one item. I know that every, every month ice cream beauty box has an eyeshadow palette in it. So if you're not an eyeshadow lover, this is probably not the subscription box for you. Um, but let's take a look at what's inside. So I just took, opened it up and took the little paper off. And the paper has a guide. It's just kind of like a, you know, whatever. So um, the first thing that's in here is by ZC Beauty. And this is part of their collab with the British Museum. It looks like these, this is a UVA UVB hydrating and refreshing SPF 50. Now this retails for, it says it's a moisturizing primer. So that's good. And it has an SPF. I'm curious if this will cause pilling. So a lot of times, um, in my experience, primers with an SPF can cause pilling uh, depending on your foundation. So I'm curious about that. It says that this is an SPF primer, must have summer beauty product that combines the benefits of sun protection with, while these may seem a bit intimidating at first, it's important to note that, oh wait, no, the wrong one. Uh, anyway, it's lightweight, non-greasy formula offers high broad spectrum protection against UVA and UVB rays hydrating and non-comedogenic or it won't clog pores. So this retails for $29. And we'll just pull it out and see what the texture is like. I'm not gonna put this on right now, but everything that comes from China, it seems, is like over plastic wrapped like this. Um, that has been my experience. I think ZC Beauty is a, a C Beauty brand. I'm not 100% sure. If you know, will you tell me in the comments? So let's see what this, the packaging. Firstly, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a jibby or like a chibi style Princess Peach. Um, and then let's see what the packaging actually looks like. It's interesting that this would be a part of the British Museum's collab, right? It seems like an unusual item for that. It looks like deodorant. So let's see, oh, but it's got a screw top, okay. And it's it smells like sunscreen, like a, like a chemical sunscreen, so that is there. So we'll we'll try that another time. I'm curious if my about face uh, foundation will pill with that. Okay, so the next item here is by Gerard Cosmetics, and this is the Hydra Matte Long Wear Liquid Lipstick. I got the shade Honeymoon, so let's see what that looks like. I love a cream lipstick. That's my preference. Oh, this is very pink. Oh, she pink. Okay. I don't know. Oh, should we just do it anyway? We should do it anyway. The eyeshadow palette that's in here is an eyeshadow palette that um, is mostly pinks. So this coordinates exactly with that. If you want like a pink on pink look, I guess. But let's grab a... <laughs> mm. Hold on. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, so it's very much like, don't mind my eye. See the scratches? Oh, uh, very pink. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna have a Barbie moment. It's fine. We'll see if it's drying. It smells like lip liquid lipstick. Oh, the matte is pretty though. Oh yeah, this is, dare I say it? Butthole lip? No, it's not that pink. It's actually too pink to be butthole lip, I think. Okay. 
I feel a little Trixie Mattel today. It's giving Barbara Streisand. Um, so let's let that sit as it dries down. Immediately, application was easy. It does not feel sticky. Uh, it does not. If uh, it already feels a little bit drying, so we'll we'll see if that's continue. We'll continue, but that liquid lipstick retails for um twenty dollars from Gerard Cosmetics. I have noticed a few Gerard items in this. Um, and that's the only place I've ever tried Gerard is in this box. So, okay. Next, we have something from Delancey Beauty here. This is a holographic highlighter. So let's see here. I got shade number one, or that's what it says anyway. I don't know if that's technically shade or what it, whatever. Um, let's see. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. That might actually, see that orange flash? That's pretty. It actually might be pretty as a an eye topper, like a, for the center of the lid or... See if I can open this. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's got a pretty like orangey pink flash. See what it looks like on the finger. And let's just just throw some of that on the cheek. Ooh, that's fun. It's fun. I think something like this could easily emphasize texture, um, if not used carefully. But all right, fun. Okay, can you really see it? I can see it. Pretty. Um, yeah, I, I think I like this. It's kind of a particle highlighter. It's not like the smoothest highlighter in the world. Um, but it does have like a pretty reflect to it. Um, at least from what I can tell, it kind of has like just this... You can see it better on this side, but yeah, I think that's pretty. That retails on its own for... Uh, twenty dollars. So, would I pay twenty dollars for a highlighter in this day and age? No. I feel like everybody has a highlighter. There's no reason to pay twenty dollars for a single highlighter anymore. At least not full price, you know. Okay. The next thing we have is we have a by Appeal Beauty. We have a gel eyeliner. I've had a few things from Appeal Appeal Beauty before. Um, it's just been okay in terms of quality. I uh, have not really enjoyed their lip products. But let's see, let's try. I'm not gonna put this on my eyes, but I do wanna swatch it because it's an interesting color. It's kind of like this tealy blue green color. So let me see if I can. I'm just gonna draw a little heart next to this. Okay, it seems smooth. Doesn't seem like the most opaque and a darker liner, but it seems fine. Um, yeah, it seems fine. So. That retails on its own for $21. I don't know where they get their pricing from. I would never. For a gel eyeliner like that, just buy the NYX, you know? For $21, I can buy an Urban Decay liner. They're 24-7 liners, you know? Like the OG, the, the best to me, you know? Okay, so last but not least, we have the Plumeria Eyeshadow Palette. Here, this is a Plumeria Dragon Palette by um, Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics. So I've tried Sugar Drizzle single liners. I've actually never tried their eyeshadow palettes before. So maybe we'll swatch a couple of these and see if it's anything that we like. So, all right, here's the packaging, cutesy little dragon. They do a lot of cutesy type characters on the front of their palettes. Nice big pans here, pretty color story. You have a couple of these neutrals mixed in with some dusty pinks and then bright pinks and some deepening shades. I like this little pop. Let's, why don't we just swatch the shimmers and see how we like those. So it looks like this is actually more of like a satin shade. Um, and it looks like we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five mattes and like seven either satin or shimmer shades. This one has an interesting texture. It's very much like a kind of a creamy satin. Here we go. Swatch that one, okay. Let's swatch Dragon's Breath. This is the shade here. So, not the most lustrous shimmers, okay. We're gonna go ahead, why don't we just swatch them all? We'll do it together. All right, we're gonna swatch Full of Smoke here. Okay, this is that taupe kind of 
kind of shade. Okay. All right. And then on the bottom row here, dragon fruit, we just did the whole bottom row together. This has a weird texture. This feels like a satin. Um, oh, poking. I don't need to add more damage. Okay. Pretty color. Interesting. It doesn't look that bright in the pan. I guess it does. It looks bright in the pan, but it looks brighter on the hand. All right. Let me clear off. Um, let me, actually, let me grab a baby wipe. Let me clear off my fingers and then we'll swatch right, the so rest. next. Let's swatch the middle row here. So this is the shade on my wings. Let's go ahead and put that here. Okay. Next we have this really pretty teal color here. This one's called Dragon Egg. And this is one I think I was most excited to see just because of the color. Yeah, that's pretty. Now is that shade special? So the, the flash, it's definitely the flashiest out of this whole palette. Um, so far. So let's see. Let's, here's Fire Kiss. None of these shimmers feel the most creamy. Now, I think that's on some level that's probably good because it means they probably won't crease. All right. So that's Fire Kiss. And last for this row is called Dragon Scales, which seems like it has a different kind of a texture. Yeah, it's more black based. Okay. So that's Dragon Scales. I hope this is uh, giving you a good representation for the palette. All right, and let's go ahead, clear off my finger, and then we will do that last top row because I kind of went backwards today. I don't know about this look good lipstick either. Okay, so starting uh, here, we're gonna do Miss Dragon, which is like kind of a dustier pink color. I think this is more of my speed in terms of like the colors in here. Okay, it's a pretty shade, it's smooth. The mattes feel good, the shimmers are not great. Um, this one is called Slay. Oh, that one does not feel good. It, uh, it's okay, it's okay. It does not feel the best when you put it on. It kind of almost has a grainy, grainy texture. Um, this one is called Dragon's Den. Yeah, it's pretty on the finger. It's like a slate kind of taupe. It's an unusual shimmer. I don't know if I have many in my collection that are kind of like that pewter color. And last but not least, we have Plumeria Dragon, which is this hot pink. Okay, I pushed a little hard in the pan for that one. So the swatch probably, yeah. I mean, that pink swatched really pretty. I'd be willing to bet money that this will stain though. So that's Plumeria Dragon. Let me show you the swatches just here. Now I know it's a little chaotic, so sorry about that, but at least you can see them. I do think that these two shades especially look really pretty. I think this is Fire Kiss and this is Plumeri or, uh, Dragon Egg. Um, the others are really kind of lackluster. This is an interesting shimmer. It's not the most, it's reflective in this lighting. I think in natural lighting, let me turn my in more natural lighting. You can see it's kind of not as reflective. This just like my ring light. Well, it's a dual light, but anyway, um, those are the swatches. Would I pay full price for this eyeshadow palette? No, I would not. Um, if I ordered this full price and I got it, I would be disappointed because in terms of indie shimmers and indie shadows, there are really good formulas out there. And this is my first time trying sugar drizzles. And I think the mattes are okay. Um, that deeper matte, that deeper, this one, Looks a little bit patchy, but I'm sure if you're putting it on a sheer layers, it's probably fine. But, you know, eh, I will probably end up giving this to my little. Um, just because I think those colors are colors that I think she would like. And she just likes to play with it here at the house. Um, I don't let her really wear makeup out. So, um, it would be fine for her to play with. But it is not something that I'm going to end up keeping. Now, this lip liner, this lipstick has still has a bit of gumminess like a bit of tackiness in the center. Uh, let's see if it transfers, let's kiss this hand. So uh, there's a little bit of transfer here, not anything too crazy, but it does feel a little bit like sticky almost to the touch. I, I don't think I'm feeling this. Um, I know for sure that the color is just not my vibe. If I was going for a Barbie moment maybe, but like as a whole, I don't I don't really think that's all that in a bag of potato chips. Um, Especially not for $20 full price. Nope. 
All right. Um, the sunscreen. We're going to try the sunscreen another time. It has a strong sunscreen smell. I can tell you already that is going to bother me if it doesn't dissipate. Um, sunscreen smell like that artificial chemical sunscreen smell actually gives me a headache. It triggers migraines for me, but we are going to try this and see if it dissipates and if it pills under my makeup. Um, but we are not going to be doing that today. So, um, the highlighter. I do think the highlighter is a really pretty color. I do think it looks nice on the cheek. Um, that little bit of reflect is interesting. If you don't like a colorful highlighter, if you don't like, um, you know, playing with that kind of a multi-chrome shifty highlighter, you probably will not like that. Um, I don't mind it from time to time. I do think it's really pretty. And I think on an orange blush, this would be really, really pretty. Um, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Um, and the eyeliner, this is fine. I'm going to try making a smoked eyeliner like look with this um, and try smudging it out. Now, I just wiped it off my hand, um, but I, if I remember, did I, did I try rubbing it? I didn't try rubbing it. I'm sorry. Well, that'll just have to be a test for another time. Um, but my darlings, that's it for Ice Cream Beauty Box. It's a $25 a month subscription service. Um, yeah. Did you get this? Do you like it? Like, would you, if you received this box... Tell me in the comments, if you receive this in this box, this box, would you be pleased with it? Like, are these colors, colors that you jive with? Um, are these kinds of products, things that you like? I like Ice Cream Beauty Box primarily because it's mostly makeup. Um, and they usually have an interesting product mix, including an eyeshadow palette, which I'm an eyeshadow lover, um, every month. This month, kind of a miss for me. Uh, previous months have been great, but this month is kind of a miss for me. So it feels a little out of sorts, but it's well, it seems like it's well curated. It's just not my vibe. So anyway, I love your faces. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry for my douchebaggery with the, the sunglasses, but it is what it is better than looking at a weird looking eye. So anyway, I love your faces. I will, take, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.